안녕하십니까. 글로벌 경제 아시아 시대를 열다 아나운서 김재원입니다. 오늘 이 자리는 광복 70년을 맞아 대한민국의 젊은이들에게 미래 30년의 비전을 제시하기 위해 마련하였습니다. 세계 경제는 급변하고 있습니다. 아시아의 미래를 선도하기 위한 한국 경제의 돌파구는 무엇이고 대한민국 청년들에게 제시할 수 있는 비전은 무엇인지 함께 생각해보는 시간 마련했습니다. 오늘 특별한 손님 두 분을 초대했습니다. 대한민국의 최경환 경제부총리 그리고 중국 전자상거래업체 알리바바 그룹의 마윈 회장입니다. 여러분 큰 박수로 환영해 주십시오. 먼저 부총리께 감사의 말씀 전하겠습니다. 국정 현안으로 바쁘실 텐데 어려운 걸음 해주셔서 대단히 감사합니다. 네, 네. 이런 자리 초대해 주셔서 감사합니다. 네. 네. 오늘은 뭐 여러 가지 현안을 뒤로 하고 청년 고용과 또 청년 창업에 관한 소중한 말씀 듣도록 하겠습니다. Okay, Chairman Ma, thanks for joining us and welcome to Korea and welcome to KBS as well. I'm sure this is not the first time in Korea. No, this is uh, number four time in the past 24 miles. Ah, okay, how do you feel in Korea? I love it. Ah, okay, <laughs> thank you. 아울러 이 자리에는 대한민국의 미래를 이끌어갈 희망 청년 300명이 함께하고 있습니다. <웃음> 부총리께서는 이미 마윤 회장을 한두 번 만나신 적이 있으시죠? 네, 이번이 세 번째입니다. 네. 지난해 8월에 한번 뵙고 제가 또 본사가 있는 항저우에 금년 1월에 같이 한번 뵙고 우리 세계적으로 성공한 우리 마윤 회장 같은 분이 한국에서도 좀 나올 수 없겠냐 흔쾌히 또 응해 주셔가지고 어 아마 금년 그 5월 달부터 어그 3개월 과정에 청년 인턴십이 개설이 되는 걸로 그렇게 알고 있고 또질 좋고 안전한 한국 상품들을 중국 그 소비자한테 직접 좀 이렇게 팔수 있는 그런 기회를 좀 달라고 그랬더만 오늘 그 티몰 지금 막그 티몰 개관식을 하고 이 자리에 오는 어, 중입니다. 네, actually we are expecting your investment without cost for them. I mean Korean young people. Yeah, I think uh, I need them to inspire me too. <웃음> <웃음> 아마 창업을 꿈꾸는 청년들에게는 오늘 소중한 시간이 될 겁니다. 중국 전자상거래업체 알리바바 그룹의 마윈 회장 어떤 인물인지 먼저 영상으로 간단하게 소개해드리겠습니다. 2014년 9월, 세계의 눈이 한 곳에 집중됐다. 뉴욕 증시 사상 최고 기록으로 화려한 신고식을 치른 알리바바. 그 중심에 마윈이 있다. 외소한 체격에 지극히 평범했던 청년 마윈. 영어강사 시절 마윈의 월급은 고작 10달러에 불과했다. 그런 그에게 찾아온 일생일대의 기회. 인생의 터닝포인트가 된 사건. 바로 인터넷의 발견이다. 컴맹이었음에도 불구하고 남다른 추진력으로 전자상거래업체 알리바바닷컴을 설립했다. 미국의 거대 유통기업 이베이와의 치열한 경쟁 끝에 중국 시장 86%를 석권하기에 이른다. 최근엔 알리바바, 타오바오 등 전자상거래뿐만 아니라 금융, 문화 컨텐츠 등 사업 영역을 확장하고 있는 알리바바 그룹. 무일푼에서 시작해 16년 만에 세계적 기업으로 이끈 마윈 끝을 모르는 도전 정신이 빛나는 그는 영원한 청년 사업가다. 
when I sh see myself on the picture, I always feel uh, shy. <laughs> okay. As you said, you didn't know about the computer at all, but you became the king of China's e-commerce business. What's the secret? I just wonder. Um, optimistic for the future, and work with the young people, and invest on the young people. We have uh, over 34,000 young people in the company. Because oh. I don't know computer. If they know computer, that's great. If oh. I don't know, they don't know we have a problem. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, the, uh, even now, I still do not use in computer frequently. Oh, really? Because I, um, I think I want to make the customers using computer freely, easily. I believe 80% of the people in the world they are scared of computers. So how can we make computers easy to use for those 80% of people? That's the opportunity. You decided to start an e-commerce business even before the internet service was available across China. I invited the 24 friends to my home, telling them about what is internet for two hours. That was 1994. And nobody believed it. And finally, we had a vote. 23 people said, forget it, right? And only one person said, try it. So I think I have to try it because I believe it. Whether people believe or not, I believe it. Mm -hmm. Then I have to make people who are working together with me believe it together. And then the time comes. 그 마윤 회장의 열정을 우리가 좀 높이 평가해야 되지 않을까 싶은데요. 그 실패를 거듭하면서도 성공에 이른 열쇠가 아닐까 싶습니다. 우리 대한민국 청년들도 열정이 대단하다고 생각합니다. 예를 들어서 대학 그 창업 동아리만 해도 2012년에 한 천여 개 되던 것이 지금 한 3천 개 정도로 이렇게 늘어나고 있습니다. 정말 열정이 있고 또 꿈과 폐기가 있는 젊은이들은 그 마윤 회장처럼 이렇게 도전을 해서 새로운 어떤 그 분야를 개척을 하고 또 많은 일자리를 만들어내고 많은 또 부가가치를 만들어내는 것이 사회에 그 기여를 하고 또 본인 인생에서도 큰 보람을 느끼지 않겠나 이렇게 생각합니다. 음. 그러나 아직 우리 사회적인 뒷받침이 이 청년들의 열정을 한껏 꽃피울 수 있을 정도로까지 뒷받침이 안 돼서 그 점에 대해서는 참좀 안타깝게 생각을 합니다. 네. 최면 마. They are having difficulty finding a job. When you employ a new person, what do you mostly see? Well, I think it's difficult to look for a job at any time, not only today. Because when I tried to look for a job, I failed more than 30 times. So it's, it's not rare that so can, I cannot find a job. But when I look for young people, I don't, normally I don't read their which university they graduate. Because no matter you have a PhD degree or master degree or bachelor degree, that only a receipt that you have paid that much money study. <laughs> the real school is in the society. When you find a job and prove that what you have learned really make things different. So I love to see the people with passion. <clears throat> I love to see the people ready to learn. Not say, I'm a PhD, I'm a doctor, so I don't have one learn. No, it's new to anybody when you go to the society. So these are the, the passion for future, optimistic, ready to learn, and never give up. These are the qualities that we would love to have young people to have them. So you see the potential yeah. ability rather than qualification they would yeah. like to have. Yeah. Because we, we've got a lot of uh, people with good qualities, but not a lot of people, I mean, good quality of education. But we need a good quality of surviving in this society. Mm -hmm. Would you share your secret of success with Korean young people? Okay. Okay. Ma Win Huizhang's special congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's my great honor. I never thought that I would be standing here talking to you like this. Because last year, our Alibaba had an IPO. It was a great IPO. 
and people said, "You are so smart. How could you make a company like that?" But before the IPO, a lot of people said Alibaba is a terrible model. There was a problem here and there. The founder is terrible. Yes, that's right. I'm a 100% made in China. <laughs> I learned my English by myself, and I tried to teach myself how to programming on computer. I still don't know wh why, how it works, but that is not important. Like all of you here, we all have expectation for the future. We all worry about the future. I did not have a rich father. Not from、uh, you know well educated. I said I tried three times for university, all failed. For the last time, I, I went to the teachers' college, which was considered the third or fourth class of my city. But I think that is the best university I've ever had, better than Harvard and Wharton. <laughs> I applied for Harvard for ten times. All failed. They don't even want to see me. You know, terrible. <laughs> and I, I think that is a normal life, right? And I, I believe that、um, it was so difficult at that time. I was so frustrated because I taught in the university. My pay was ten dollars a month. It was not easy, but I believe that something, something is waiting for me there. And I have to work hard to prove myself. So that was the tough experience, and I never thought I was smart. Nobody believed that I could be successful because everybody said, "Well, this guy think differently, think crazily. You know, they think about something never work." In 1994, Discuss said, "I'm going to do something called internet," and 23 of them against it. They said, "This is a stupid idea." Right? We have never heard about internet, and you know nothing about computer. Why you want to do the computer? So nobody agree with. As I said, I believe it because I saw the computer in 1994 when I went to the USA. I think this thing could be big, but I never thought it would be that big like today. Honestly, people say you are smart. You, are, you have a big vision. 1994, since you saw the internet, that was not true. I just want to find a job because I cannot find a good job, so I do myself. So, that is the history. <clears throat> That's the thing. And now, after 16 years, we have a lot of we have an Alibaba group, we have a Tmall group, we have a Taobao group, we have Alipay, and people say, "How you make it? Why this make it? Why people cannot find opportunities? You can find opportunities." And I think people same here today. Jack, where is the opportunity? I don't have a job. I don't have this. I don't have that. I remember 20 years ago. I I hated Bill Gates. I say he took all the job. You know, he's a, such a great. And Larry Page, Bill Gates, and every success people, they did good. And why I didn't have this chance? The same question like you. And later I calm down myself. And luckily, I win. I tell you, I'm lucky to know. A lot of famous people: Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, the Jack Welch, Larry Page, Mark Zuckerberg. I know all of them. I would have liked to share with you that those people, the difference between those people and other people, they are always optimistic for the future. They never complain. They always try to solve the problems of the others. And I think, where is the opportunity? The opportunity lie, always lies in the place where people complain. Some people sit there complain. You think,、mm, if I can solve that complaint, that's the opportunity. That's what I did. And I think 1994, 1995, so many people in China want to sell things abroad, but there's no place because the big business. Can go to the trade fair, Las Vegas fair, and Germany fair. Small business, they don't have opportunity, so they complain. We we want to go to trade shows, but they cannot get visa. They don't have money. They don't have relationship. So I think if internet can help this small business, it will be great. But nobody would believe it. Why internet can help? I said if if something everybody believe it, everybody love it. Forget about it. that's not your opportunity. Because where everybody agrees, why this opportunity should be yours? 
because a lot of people don't agree with it. And you think this is good? Think carefully and find a group of people working together. And making sure the people working with you together believe the dreams. Whether investors believe in this or not, whether your friends believe it or not, whether your parents believe it or not, that's not important. You believe it. Your team believe it, and work day and night on this. That's how the things happens, right? My investor did not. In after ten years, they invested us. They still don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, people say, "Why, well, Jack? You have such so many great investors." Yeah, they are great because they believe Jack Ma can do something. But what exactly he's doing, they probably don't understand. But we have to know. We know. The only thing I tell you guys: for the first three years, we do not have even one dollar revenue from our business. But why it keeps on going ahead? Going forward, because I received lots of email of thanks from the customer. They say this is such a great thing. If you can keep on doing that, we cannot pay you, but this thing helped us. If you keep on helping us, one day you will be successful. And I believe this. And I want people here to let you know that we are at the best time of this century. The first technology revolution, the steam, the water, right in the UK, very successful after 50 years. The second technology revolution is called、uh, energy revolution, electricity. After 50 years, electricity was founded, business booming. Internet has only for 20 years. The next 30 years is the best time for us. For our young people, we are all lucky. We are only we are only like twenty, thirty years old. The next thirty years, the best time. The last twenty years is the time I call information technology. That's the IT. IT is to make your make the big company getting bigger and stronger, and IT is to make yourself stronger. IT is try to get something for you. But now we are entering into the new period, which I call the data technology. The data technology is do totally opposite of IT. IT is I have, you don't have. DT is you have it, I don't have it. I don't have to have it. DT is about sharing. DT is about take responsibility. DT is about the passion for the future. So we are coming into the next thirty years of data technology period, which your parents may not like it. Which your friends may not like it, but if you believe the next thirty years is the wonderful period for us, and by the way, at the DT period, everybody is the same, because we are start from the same line. Nobody is the expert of DT. There are a lot of expert of IT. They may be in trouble. So, which I would say, the best, the best assets you have. Is that you are young? Don't complain. Let the other people complain. Those people complain. Those people who fail. And do not always say, "Well, I don't have." Think about how you can make things different. Use your own brain to think. Lastly, I want to share you. I learn my English. I learn how to think. Use my own brain. When I was young, I went to Hangzhou West Lake. You know, we have a West Lake. There's a hotel. Many foreign visitors visit there, and I went there every morning five o'clock to practice my English. The foreign visitors come. I practice my English. I don't know why at that time, but I found everything the foreign visitors told me are so different from the things my parents told me, my teacher told me, and the newspaper I read. So since then, I think everything use my own brain to think about.、It. Is that true? Is that an opportunity inside? Is there anything I can do that make the difference? Think about this, and then when you think about this, start to do it. I saw a lot of people, young people, have fantastic ideas every evening, but in the morning they go to the office same again. Make the move. Make the action. To everybody, to any person, 
Tomorrow is new. And believe one thing, this is also another last advice I want to give you. You have to work very hard. Right? Either work for the others or work for yourself. And I choose the way, work my, for myself. But working for myself, that means working for the society. If you really want to work for yourself, think about the others. The day DT time, making sure you help others. Because only when the other, ha other people are successful, when the other people are happy, you will be successful, you will be happy. in Korea really want to help the young people to build up the ecosystem. But one thing I would say that uh, a lot of people say internet is killing jobs. The technology is killing jobs. But I believe internet and technology, every time the technology created new jobs, the first revolution of technology created more jobs. Second revolution created a lot of jobs. So this time, we are going to this century for the new technology is going to create more jobs. But these jobs need more knowledge, more skills. And Korean people, I, I think they are so creative. When, when I see the cinema and the movie and the, the mobile time, especially you are so good at making you know, the online gamings. These are the things that people need all kinds of entertainment. And in Korea, you have the, such a wonderful infrastructure of the mobile. The next 10, 20 years will be the mobile time. The mobile, the data, and innovation. So these things put together will be a fantastic opportunity. And for what Alibaba is doing is that we are bringing great consumptions from China. For our site, every day we have 120 million consumers shopping on our site. Every day. Everything that is good online, always sold out. You will never imagine because I don't, I don't understand why so many people buying on shop every day, but just the coming. And I think next 20 years will be at least 2 billion, at least 2 billion to 2.5 billion people will be online shopping. And that will be the best opportunity for everybody. And I think career, since you are the nation that has the best infrastructure of mobile, and the creativity. So let's create something for the world, for the, the, the best consumers. So that is why I'm coming here not to sell things. Honestly, I think um, sell Chinese products to Korea. We've been, sell, we've been sold that for 20 years. I'm, I'm trying to come in here and say, young people, Korea, create something, sell to the world, sell to China. That's the opportunity there. I'm going to ask you, Chairman Ma, you have a lot of achieved so much with your business. Do you still have something to do for more? Are you still hungry for business? Yeah, um, the money people give me, the money I have is not my money. This is the money people trust on me. That's the trust of people on me. So I should take the most responsibility for all the money I invest. And um, I still have a big passion for future because um, it's not about how much money you will make, how much life you can change, how many things you can do that improve, you know, because our mission of doing Alibaba is helping small business doing business easier. Mm -hmm. And we only help the Chinese small business. There are so many Korean small business. There are so many, uh, you know, Afghanistan business, small business, so many Philippines. So I think there are a lot of things, but I cannot do myself. We want to make the internet can help this small business. So I'm thinking in my way, how can using internet to open sesame for small business online? Mm -hmm. I just wonder, what made you set that goal? Well. When I started my business in 1992, it was so difficult. Mm -hmm. I tried to borrow 3,000 US dollars from the banks. It took me three months, but I still cannot get it. And when I said 1994, I tried to register an internet company. I could not do it. It's so difficult, all the processing, and you cannot get the money, you cannot rent an office. And then uh, when I started Alibaba, it was still very difficult, and I think Big companies, the government help. Foreign companies, 
the, the American market, the, the stock market help. Small business, nobody help. If we can create something that using internet help the small business, empower the small business, and make help the small business grow strong, that will be the unique value that we, the internet can help. So that was big, big um, I think since nobody helped me, if we can help the others, it will be a huge opportunity. That is the dream, and that become our mission. So everybody join our company, we will ask him, we, our job, our mission is to help others doing business easier. If you agree with that, working together with us, welcome. If you don't agree with it, there are, there are a lot of good opportunities there and just to join them. Because we think this is our mission. And we've been doing that for 16 years. And I think we will do, make another 86 years working on that. 어 예전에 알리바바의 초창기 모델에 대해서 어, 이야기를 다룬 음, 다큐멘터리를 본 적이 있는데 약 3년간 수익을 내지 못했음에도 불구하고 직원들이 서로 믿고 의지하며 이렇게 열심히 일하는 모습이 참 인상적이었습니다. 그래서 어떻게 그렇게 많은 직원들에게 믿음과 확신을 주실 수 있었는지 그 이야기가 궁금합니다. I do not know where I got the confidence. These days when I see the documentary, I was surprised why this guy has that. <웃음> Uh, that is true, because the uh, funny thing, the day when I started Alibaba, I asked my, my colleague to record and tape everything, everything we talk, all the meetings. We, we've, been, we've been putting a whole house of tapes in the past 16 years. We want recorded. I told my friends and myself, if Jack Ma can be successful, 80% of the people in China can be successful. Till now, we did not borrow even one dollar from the bank. We did not have even one dollar from the government. We do everything ourselves. So, honestly, the 18 founders in my apartment, 40% of them are my students. Another 40% of my friends. So they have no choice. <laughs> And when we have a hundred people, well, when we start to do something, all the companies came to us and, and, and grabbed my people. It was funny that um, those great people have a vision of themselves, that they always have uh, some new ideas, they were taken away from uh, the other companies. Those people stay in the companies, they're not very smart like me. We believe what we're doing. So nobody come to head hunting us. So we have no choice. We stay there after 10 years, we're successful. The very important is that you believe it. We believe this thing. And we see why we be, it's not about revenue. The f emails of thanks from customers are the best revenue. And also, the, the employees knows, wow, this is something. Because we didn't have revenue. I told you one story. I went to a restaurant. When I finished my eating, I, there somebody came in with a piece of paper say, Hi, Jack. I'm a user of Alibaba. I know you did not make money, so I pay your bill. Oh. <laughs> For these things happen a lot. I went to a, 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 you know, a bar. Some people give me a cigar. Say, thank you for your website. I know you did not make money. Uh, just a small gift. So these things tell us this thing is good if we keep on working. And after 10 years, it really become good. That was, yeah. the, that was the true story and that keep us work, you know, working on. Mine is Jante, Chimura is Mida. Uber, Airbnb, Dropbox, then Silicon Valley startup to the John Zegis Changel, Chibia Guismida. 아시아의 강점을 살린 스타트업들이 많이 나오지 않는 이유는 무엇이라고 생각하시며 실리콘밸리 스타트업들과 경쟁하기 위해서 저희는 무엇을 준비해야 된다고 생각하십니까? Okay, first I think nobody can conquer the world. And uh, we only can serve the world. At the serve how many people in the other side because I believe if you have a vision of your village you can do a good business in your village. If you have vision for whole career, you do the business in the whole career. If you have vision 
in America, you have a vision there. So first, you have to think about how big you think and do things in the detail. A Silicon Valley was being there for so many years and such a good infrastructure, good ecosystem, environment, which is good. But we should not never always put Silicon Valley as the example. There's only one Silicon Valley there. When I started, I put the Bill Gates as my mod, role model. I put Warren Buffett as role model. I got more disappointed. Oh my God, how, when can I be at this Bill Gates? <laughs> and you, when you put the role model is that big, it's, it's very frustrating. Then I think about the Uncle Wong, my next door, and Aunt Lee, the <laughs> only, my next door. They work pretty well. So I started to think, hmm, let me serve this. And one day I can serve more people. That was the beginning. Guys, I tell you the day, the first week when I launched Taobao.com, the Alitaobao.com, nobody come to sell, nobody come to buy because there's nothing to sell. So in, the, in my office, we have seven people, we buy, we sell ourselves, <laughs> right? And then the first, the, the first 10 days, some people start to try to sell something, we buy everything. Mm. So we buy a whole house of things for no use, just to, just people come to sell. So little by little, we build up our business. Little by little, we build up our ecosystem of the infrastructure. So if, if career try to be, try to have a Silicon Valley-like infrastructure, you will never have it. Because Silicon Valley has been there for, I don't know, 50 years or 60 years? Let's build up something all for ourselves. When the infrastructure is very good, you have no chance, guys. Why you are entrepreneur? Why you want to be the entrepreneur? Because being an entrepreneur, you have to do the things before the other people do. You have to wake up before the other people wake up. You have to be more brave than the others. So I think I don't see, and I will tell you what, people in Silicon Valley admire career a lot. Wow, you have a, such a wonderful infrastructure of mobile. Wow, you have so many creative young people. And you are in Asia. This is what I think. When you're optimistic, it's always opportunity. So I don't want, I don't want China to have a Silicon Valley infrastructure. First, it's impossible. Second, if there's one, I should have made it. We should have made an infrastructure, not waiting for government. Government, it's so difficult for them. They sometimes think kindly, but, but, but they are government offices. We business, we have to create for ourselves and getting support from them, but don't rely on them. That's what I believe, because they have a more important, the whole you know, country, how to balance. For business, we have to build up our own ecosystem. That's what I think. 2015년, 현재, Marwin Huynan께 25살, 창업을 준비하고 있는 한국 청년이라고 가정해 보세요. 돈, 사람도 없고, 그리고 명예도 없고, 처음부터 다시 시작하신다면 뭘 하고 싶으세요? Okay, what would you do if you are a 25 year old man? Well, first, I would love to go back to 25 years. <laughs> I would do anything to, to be back to 25 years. Um, I think I would go to China and uh, seeing the market there and go to America and think about it and go back and come back to Korea. Uh, I think opportunity is everywhere. Honestly, when people think about internet is the future, 10 years ago, internet was so good. No, when nobody believed internet was so good. Now internet is so tough because all the smart people go to internet. So you should go to the off ground. There are so many opportunities. If you run a restaurant, if you're really interested in running a restaurant in Korea, using IT technology to making sure the restaurant is perfect and unique. If you want to open a barber shop, making sure you use the IT technology and data technology, be the different. It's not only the high tech that works. There are a lot of business if you're using IT better. That'd be fantastic, right? So 
Uh, Prime Minister said I'm a genius. I don't think I'm a genius, uh, and um, I would love to be a genius. <laughs> But when I sit next to Bill Gates, I think I'm a genius. When I speak Chinese, he cannot speak. <laughs> when I speak English, well, okay, we both it's not bad. You have to, we all have to think opposite. When everybody agree, wait one minute. One minute, think about it. Is that right? Is there an opportunity where everybody against it? Just to wait for one minute. Think about it. So, 25 years old. Don't worry. Any mistake is an income. It's a wonderful revenue for you. So I told myself and told my young people: Before 20 years old, be a good student. When you do entrepreneur, just learn some experience. Before 30 years old, follow somebody. Go to a small company. Normally, in a big company, it is good to learn processing. You are a part of a big machine. But when you go to small company, you learn the passion. You learn the dreams. You learn how to do a lot of things at one one time. So before 30 years old, it's not which company you go; it's which boss you follow. It's very important. A good boss teach you differently. And before, th- from 30 to 40 years old, you have to think very clearly. You're working for yourself. If you really want to be entrepreneur, when you're 40 to 50 years old, you have to do all the things that you are good at. Don't try to drop l- into the new area. It's too late. You may be successful, but the the rate of dying is too big. So 40 to 50, think about how can focus on things. That you are good at, but when you are 50 to 60 years old, work for the young people because young people can do better than you. So rely on them, invest on them, making sure they're good. So when you are over 60 years old, spend time for yourself on the beach, sunshine. You know I mean? <laughs> right? It's too late for you to change normally. But I, this is my my advice to the young people: 25 years old. Make enough mistakes. Don't worry. You fall, you stand up. You fall, you stand. Enjoy it. I mean, 25 wow. years old. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. 많은 젊은 창업가들이 그 마인 회장이 투자처로부터 투자, 투자를 받는 그런 노하우를 알고 싶어할 거라고 생각을 합니다. 그래서 그런 비결을 갖다가 같이 알려줄 수 있을지 음. 궁금합니다. Okay. First, it's not easy to attract investment. <웃음> Uh, for any startups, um, my CFO Joseph Tsai and I went to Silicon Valley for the first time, 1999 to the year 2000. We talked to over I don't know, 30 or 40 venture capitalists. Everybody said no, forget it. So we gather 50,000 U.S. dollars from 18 founders. We started, and. Um, The very important thing is, is that <clears throat> you always have to prepare for at least one year money before you go on the road. I agree that everybody it's so difficult to convince your wife, your your parents, and your your girlfriend to do that. But if you can convince in somebody for the first round of money, no matter how big the vision is, you have to start from the small things, easy. Secure. Start to move. The first to move have to be a little bit secure. Always pick up some easy things, and uh, try to convincing those people who trust you to raise the money first. Remember one thing. That's the secret sauce. Always raise money when you have money. All right. When you don't have money, you are in trouble. Don't go out to raise money. So when you have the money, start to think about how can I raise money because the winter is coming. How always think about prepare for the winters. So my philosophy is, repair the roof while it is sunshine. When it rains, don't move, keep it, right? So that is the first round of money. The bank will not give you, but it's okay. Raise a little bit money, prove it. And a little more, prove it. A little more. That's everybody goes like that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my name is Liu Yixuan. I'm from China. Good. I have a question for you. 
do you think Alibaba could still become as successful as it has now without the huge e-commerce market base? Well, nobody can guarantee. Nobody can guarantee will be successful, right? So, I think the only thing that can guarantee our success is keep the passion, keep believing the future, keep on investing the young people, and keep on the mission that helping others doing success. If we keep on that, we have the chance to be successful. If we think, well, we are rich enough, let's enjoy the life, and now we, uh, that will never work, right? And now we get more competitors. All the guys, entrepreneurs, if you do business, you will always have a com competition. Don't worry about the competition because your competitors also worry about you. Right? So don't worry. Competition is a very important, fun part of the game in the business. So the competitors will never kill you. You will kill yourself by not serving your customer better. So if you ask me what can make Alibaba go longer, I want to make you guys, young people, join company like Alibaba. Open shops on Alibaba, on Taobao. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. And then that will keep, and then we help you, you help us. That's, it's the, about helping each other, and then you will be successful. That's what I believe. Next. First, I, I respect uh, your question about you graduate from MBA and join a startup, which is good. A lot of MBAs only want to join big companies, big, big managers. Startup, MBA is good. I sent, but unfortunately, a lot of MBAs do not train entrepreneurships. I sent a lot of young, wonderful young people to go to MBA. They were very smart before they go to MBA. But they came back, they, they suddenly, <laughs> They think like a, like a, you know, structure guy. This is no good. So I told my people, forget about what you learned in the MBA. Use the instinct. And making sure that everything you do is to the need of the customer. And I think it is good for MBA to be in the startup. And to raise money, most of the times the venture capitalists to give you the money not only because of the business plan, because of the team you have, who working together with you, and who are these people, what's your experience, what's your record. I think raising money is not that difficult today. Trust me, it's much, there's too much money here. Because people got crazy. The money, the must, everybody, everywhere's the money. But the thing is that you have a good team, Good dream, relaxed plan, and good record. When you have that, I bet you will get the money. Don't worry about the money. Money follow the people. People should follow the dreams. And the dream should follow the execution capability. When that thing happens, the money will come. Okay. And the day when I will, I'm going to write a book, which I don't know whether I can write it, but the book I want to write about is Alibaba 1001 mistakes. Okay. So many mistakes we have, and this is the best assets we have. So don't worry about it, we'll make mistakes. Don't worry about that. Just to go ahead if you have a dream. Okay, thank you for joining us again. Have a great time in Korea. Thank 자, you. 두 분께 큰 박수 한번 보내주세요.